Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'll talk about solving any differential equation uh, by using the dissolve function in SimPy. So first of all, let's try to recall uh, what we had in the previous tutorials. In the previous tutorials we looked at how we can integrate, how we can differentiate and so on. But in, in this tutorial in particular, let's try to first of all revisit uh, what is differentiation. Uh, in differentiation we uh, take the power in front and reduce it by one. So the command that does that is the diff, uh, the diff uh, com function uh, that does uh, the differentiation. So first of all, let's create uh, some functions on which the derivatives are going to operate. So I'll let f and g be my unidentified functions, and I'm going to use these as symbols. Uh, first of all. Uh, but then I'll declare them as uh, functions. So this is f and g, um, but I want to declare them as uh, functions so that when I apply them anywhere, they are regarded as uh, functions. For example, uh, by importing uh, x uh, as symbol, x, y, uh, z, let's also declare them as symbols. This is uh, x, y, and z, z. So I'm going to have that f of x. I do that maybe on a new cell. I do that. This is going to be considered as a function, uh, but which is uh, unidentified. Let's create one expression uh, here. Just to remind ourselves how to differentiate. So expression is going to be uh, x squared then plus uh, exponential uh, of x. If I recall this expression again, uh, this is what we are going to have. All right, so now let's try to see how the diff function uh, operates on a certain expression or on a certain function. So I'm just going to say uh, diff of expression and let's see what happens. So we find ourselves that uh, this function has been differentiated to 2x then plus exponential uh, of x. So let's go ahead and see how we can try to create a differential equation or a differential equation. So before you try to uh, apply uh, or to solve uh, a differential equation uh, in particular, let's try to see uh, how we could write a function uh, with respect to a certain derivative. So to do that, I'm going to recall uh, my declared function, that is fx, then times uh, the diff function, which you have seen as uh, the, the operator that the differentiates. And then I'm going to specify how many times, for example, I want to differentiate, uh, given by this uh, symbol, uh, the number of times. And so if I run that, I can see that I have uh, uh, d dx uh, of fx. So uh, it tells you that uh, when you specify x a given number of times, it's the same number you can differentiate that function. Let's go on ahead and see uh, d of y, then times diff uh, of, let's say we want to differentiate uh, maybe four times or three times. If I run that, uh, this is going to give me uh, the cubed dy cubed of g of y of that function. So this can be condensed again in the same way. Uh, if you have g, uh, g of y then times uh, diff uh, of y then a given number of times uh, that is uh, up to 3. So that will be uh, the same thing as uh, listing uh, y a given number of times. Okay, so this can be a short form of this. Okay, so let's formulate one uh, differential equation and I'm going to use the uh, variable df eq, uh, which is equal to making a use of the eq uh, command. I have eq in brackets having uh, f of x dot uh, diff uh, a given number of times, let's say uh, three times, uh, then 
uh, minus 2 minus 2 times f of x all right and then this is times uh, df of let's say uh, x to the power 2 and then plus uh, 4 df of x and then uh, minus uh, 5 times f of f of x and everything is equal to uh, let's say 20 when we call back uh, the if eq uh, we need let's see what it gives us all right so there's a multiplication there so uh, we have minus 5x uh, which is just right here uh, minus 2 uh, f of x uh, squared and then plus 4 f of x with respect to x uh, definitely uh, this would give us uh, just uh, 1 because we're differentiating once and it is with respect to x and then finally we have uh, f of x diff of uh, x to the power 3 so which is right here so this is our differential equation uh, so in order to solve this differential equation uh, we are going to use uh, the dissolve command and so I'm going to say a uh, dissolve uh, of my variable or my object equation which is the diff uh, eq and then the variable to be solved there is the function f of x when i do that and uh, try to run this try to run this uh, let's see uh, what it gives us so right here it gives us a very big equation which is uh, f of x equals c1 uh, x sine of that c2 cosine of that c3 and so on which is a very very big equation uh, so let's try just uh, a simple equation uh, which you can even solve in the real life situation and i'm going to say uh, that that is the eq uh, one uh, which is just equal to eq and then here i'm going to specify uh, my f of x that is dot now d if uh, maybe just uh, two times uh, x and then two and then have plus uh, we have plus uh, five times f of x and then dot uh, diff of of x just let it be uh, 5x okay and then comma we have maybe this is equal to 30 and uh, and this is what we have let's call this one uh, diff equation 1 and then if we go down and say a uh, diff equation 1 and we call that uh, let's see what it gives us so in this equation uh, equation let's try to solve this equation uh, with a dissolve uh, comma function so i'm going to say a uh, diff uh, eq1 and the function is just again f of x and let's see uh, the solutions uh, we are getting in this case this is giving us f of x equals uh, c1 sine of uh, root 5x uh, then plus c2 a uh, cosine of root 5x uh, plus 6 which is uh, a common e uh, solution or general solution to a differential equation of second order uh, so finally let's try uh, just one equation uh, right here which is uh, if uh, equation 2 now and this is eq of f of x then this is dot uh, diff of x 
right and then this is uh, just minus 5 uh, times f of x then uh, equals uh, 10 so when I run that this is diff eq2 if I run that that gives us minus 5 f of x plus uh, d of dx f of x equals 10 and let's try it uh, solve with the d solve uh, of diff eq2 with respect to uh, f of x uh, d solve dfq2 which gives us a uh, a general equation uh, which is c1 exponent minus 5x uh, minus 2 so we could go ahead and solve and substitute for uh, c1 and then we can as well plot uh, this uh, equation for just uh, different values of of c1 